Hello guys and welcome back to Gear Facts. It's a pretty exciting time because I've got my new Zoom G5N, the new flagship from Zoom, a very exciting multi-effects pedal. Let's switch it on. Where's that switch? There it is. Okay, nice big wide screen at the top. And it's gonna tell us this is version one. Okay, so the subject of this video is getting that from version one to the very quickly released newer version, which I'm told is a massive upgrade and provides a whole bunch of new effects and features. But how do you do it? Well, the answer is, I don't know. So we're gonna start from absolute scratch. Now it goes without saying that the first thing to do is to connect the G5N using a USB cable. And as we can see on the screen here, that very quickly proves to set up with no problems whatsoever. And because I'm not one for reading manuals, it seems that the next thing to do would be to search for the Zoom G5N version update. And you've got to spell it right. And there it is, first result, the firmware update, version two for Zoom G5N. Yep, that's our guy. And in this paragraph here, you'll see the link. Guitarist with first generation G5Ns. I assume that's meant to be apostrophe S there. I don't think there's a G5NS. Anyway, they can download the firmware version 2 at this link right here. And under software, you see the firmware G5N system version update. And it appears that we can save that as a zip file. Okay, and there it is. Let's see what's inside this zip file. Here we have Zoom G5N system updater. Sounds like a good place to start. Extract. Then it'll tell you where would you like me to extract these files to from the zipped up file. I kind of keep everything in the pictures folder just because I like it all in one place. So anyway, I'll do that. Extract. And we should end up with a nice neat folder like this. And there's our Zoom logo. So we're getting closer to our goal. Probably should could not be verified, but we all know and love Zoom. So let's go ahead and run that. This window pops up, which seems to be establishing a connection between the computer and the device. So we'll execute that command. Surely this isn't just going to go ahead and do it on the first go. That would be way too easy. No, I didn't think so. There's the timeout error. All right, let's go back. We might have to actually read something. Very annoying. Let's check out the PDF. Okay, the unzipped PDF just shows us what the upgrade does. It doesn't show how to do it. Maybe a reset on the G5 wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's try that. Re-establish that connection. All right, let's run our little updater again. Please set the version update mode. Ah, okay, well, this seems obvious. I think I need to go into the system on the pedal and set it up so it's ready to receive the update. Okay, well, having never operated this pedal before, I'm assuming that we're going to go to menu. Maybe scroll our way along options here. USB or we'll setup? Let's try USB first. Nope, that's all about USB recording. So back to the menu, try setup, system, version. Okay, Zoom, you've given me no choice. I'm looking at the manual. This is the 21st century, by the way. I shouldn't have to read anything. Anyway, if you look down at section 53 there, we've got updating the firmware. Let's go. Okay, updating the firmware. Download the Zoom firmware. Yes, okay, we've done all that. We've got a USB connection. While pressing both, foot switch one and foot switch two, set the power switch to on. Okay, let's give that a go. Power off, foot switch one and foot switch two, power on again. Aha, now we have a message on the screen. Ready for firmware update. Okay, let's go ahead and run that software. Back to our little Zoom logo. Yeah, we trust you, Zoom. And let's execute that command. Can't open MIDI in device, what? Maybe I'll just try the old unplug and replug. Also, I note that there is a troubleshooting section here. Now, in 25 odd years of using computers, I have never found any item of any useful information in any troubleshooting section. Nevertheless, as naive as it may seem, I'm gonna have a quick look through and see if there's anything that I've missed. Things relating to sound here. No, a lot of noise. No, that's not what we're dealing with. Effect is not working. No, expression pedal. No, recorded level in DAW is low. No, none of that applies to me. And this really is an act of total desperation, but what I'm going to do now is just restart the computer. Could it be that I'm using Windows 7? Maybe that's the problem. Ah, uh, yes, a totally fresh start. Let's try this. Zoom, it's cool. I'm telling you, we trust you. Should I rescan the device, you think? Mm, let's try execute. Okay, and now we're transmitting data. Version update completed, and on the unit it says... Complete, please restart. Okay. 
give it a couple of seconds. One again. Version two, there we are. Okay, and so that's the process. Hopefully you can do a little bit more smoothly than me. My frustrations are, of course, that that was a little bit confusing and error prone. It seems to me that a pretty straightforward communication between two devices should be a bit better than that in this age that we live in now. My second concern is why do we have to do it anyway? I mean, why didn't Zoom just ship this with version two? Version two came out, it seemed like minutes after the actual pedal did unlike the G3 series of a few years back where we had to own the G3 for something like a year and a half before we saw the version 2 update for that one. I guess it all comes down to sound though, and apparently this update to version 2 does give us a whole lot of extra features, but after what I've experienced with the G5 and with the G3, which I've also reviewed on Gearfacts, I would say now that this pedal is going to have to come up with some serious goods with sound if I'm to form the opinion that this is something that everyone should buy. It's got a heck of a lot of very tough competition in the industry at the moment, so I look forward to seeing you next time on Gearfacts where we'll take a closer look at the G5N. Thanks for liking, commenting, or subscribing. See you next time. Gearfacts.